Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have a little bit more Dr. Disrespect news. Now, I know the channel's been kind of like a little bit, I guess, flooded with the Dr. Disrespect drama as a whole, but I do kind of feel like as a Twitch partner, this has been a lingering drama for the past like four years. So, hope you guys don't mind for my normal subscribers. Normal videos will come back soon, so if you guys are new, you guys can subscribe. And I also wouldn't mind trying to do a little bit of deep dive in this whole like content drama stuff, because it is kind of fun. Now, this whole Dr. Disrespect situation, not fun, but just the general kind of like, you know, like commentary type style. As channel, I wouldn't mind doing that on the occasional video, but obviously I always really like a lot of, you know, gaming news. But we've actually seen a little bit more of a bigger push-up when it comes to Dr. Disrespect and the entire situation as a whole. Now, as you guys probably know, we made a video earlier on today discussing that there actually may have been him getting arrested. There was, like, local posts and the local Facebooks and basically, like, the little, like, neighborhood watch type groups talk about the fact that there was a lot of cops in the surrounding area. We do not know if this is 100% true or not because, well, duh, the internet, but we also had the leaks, too, as well for him hitting up multiple different other, like, partnered content creators and different types of women, and things are kind of getting crazy on the whole situation. But right now, this is kind of, like, the biggest solidified thing when it comes to the doctor disrespect situation where right now his channel has now been shut down. It seems like he has actually lost YouTube a partnership. I'm going to go talk a little bit more about why, because I am a partner myself. And kind of explain this whole situation for you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys would like, or just give your thoughts and comments down below. So anyway, Dodger Disrespect, as of this current moment, there's been a lot of reports on this one, where he lost one of the more integral things on his YouTube channel. So if you guys don't know, and I'm going to explain this, because it is a little bit more of a niche side. But basically, when it comes to YouTube as a whole, there's a way to go and have a thing called channel memberships. Now, channel memberships are a pretty big deal, because it's kind of like a monthly subscription type style thing, and people have a chance to go and support your channel as a whole, like a little bit extra. Now, I'm going to show you guys this. I'll just show, like, meet Kevin, because uh, I know he has it. My channel actually has this too, and some of you guys actually are also members on the channel, so if you guys ever do that, I don't, I don't think I've ever done anything super special with it, but I just want to say a thank you for just doing the little extra support, I think I like for like two bucks or whatever, but of course you get just watching a video of mine as a whole is all that ever matters to me, but the big thing is why I mentioned this in the first place is that there's a thing called like a join button, and more so a lot of live streamers will have this, because it's the same thing, same equivalent of a Twitch subscription, a kick subscription, a, you know, Rumble or old school mixer, whatever, like even Twitter subscription, or it's like they'll just go pay once a month and be like, hey, we either like your content a little extra or we like your YouTube videos or like your live streams a lot more. Live streamers do a lot more because you have a chance to interact, you get little special emotes and all of that, and it's kind of like, hey, we're going to be here for five, six hours, I'll, like, I'll throw you a few bucks. So basically it's kind of like this, you have a chance to join the membership or whatever, and you guys can see there's usually various tiers like five dollars a month fifteen dollars course members for 40 bucks you can basically do tiers but it's a big thing like if you're a streamer this is basically how a lot of twitch streamers make their money i know i'm like a twitch partner and it's a nice thing for people to go and do but obviously it's not required so right now dr disrespect actually as you guys know as a streamer content creator had that on his channel itself right now the current news is it is now gone officially like it is literally not here on his channel and he was probably some with thousands upon thousands of subscribers when he was on twitch he was usually around like the 10 to 15 thousand mark which is also how you make a lot of extra money that's an extra like sometimes 30 to 80 thousand dollars depending on which tier you're at how many gifted subscriptions and memberships you give out how often you stream but someone like dr disrespect was a really prominent creator on twitch and i'm not sure the exact numbers of what they would be at for youtube maybe even higher as well because you also have people that are watching the normal videos who may also want to subscribe and support them. Back in the day, we even saw PewDiePie go make over millions of dollars just off his own subscriptions, and he wasn't even really a streamer. He did on occasion, but not so much. So, to put that in perspective, there is a lot of people who can make millions of dollars, probably for someone on Dr. Disrespect's level. But as well, the reason why I'm kind of harping on that, that is gone. There's two conversation pieces for the video. Number one, that YouTube as a whole actually officially stepped in. Now, YouTube itself has now officially removed and cut contact with Dr. Disrespect. But as well, part two is that that actually may have also meant that his proper YouTube partnership is now gone. You can still be a verified creator. You see how he has the verified badge. Number one, that sometimes takes a while to get removed, and sometimes, two people who are not even a part of the YouTube partner program also do have verified channels as well. So just keep that in mind. Like I've known this from prior other outside channels like happening. So two things. He might as actually not even he doesn't he might even make any money off his channel as of a whole. Right now for me check in if you just want to check yourselves later on, I have gotten zero ads on his channel. 
a little easier. And I checked on different browsers. Maybe it's just this one video in particular. Maybe YouTube took it down temporarily. We have seen YouTube do that for, I think, Logan Paul and maybe David Dobrik, where they put you on like a monetization suspension on the channel. Or I think Logan Paul, when he had that really big, like the forest, like era, I think he just basically as a punishment by YouTube was not able to make any ad money on his channel for like six months or a year or whatever. I forget exactly what it was. Uh, but whenever creators are in a really big controversy, YouTube as a platform, as a private company like Google, they can do whatever they want. Same thing with Twitch that originally banned him in the first place. They can do anything they would like because duh, like they they own the company. It's not like a you know it's not like owned by the government. It's a private company at the end of the day, and they have their own terms of service. But that's a that's a lot of big issues because number one, Doctor Disrespect is banned on Twitch, so he cannot come back there ever. Indefinitely banned forever. So that's like one huge revenue source gone. Now, if YouTube is also cutting ties, this basically makes his YouTube channel pretty like worthless. Now, the channel itself is still up, so you can still watch videos, you can still get subscribers, but in terms of monetarily issues, he may still have ads from what I've seen and what I've seen in other prior cases. Once the membership is gone, it's basically a hard gone. Unless he removed it himself, like he, there's a small chance he did, being like, I know I'm going to be taking a break, I'm going to get rid of it. But at the end of the day, most people, especially when they know their career is going to be over pretty soon, don't get rid of it. They just kind of disrupt the internet. Although we did also notice too that the comment channel as well has the comments turned up. I'm assuming Dr. Disrespect did this in his most recent video, mainly because, well, duh, you're probably having a lot of people making jokes or bringing this like, you know, controversy out there. And in all honesty, there probably is a lot of people who are not even aware of all of this. They probably don't even know what's going on with Dr. Disrespect as a whole. So that also probably means that YouTube themselves terminated the contract. Now, this is not 100%, but at the end of the day, like I said, why would Dr. Disrespect remove it? We're not seeing ads, and we have seen YouTube do this before, so I'm apply puts like a 98% that YouTube themselves most likely were the ones to go and cut their Dr. Disrespect contract. Now, this is not like a higher tier contract. I'm sure you guys have heard about like XQC or Aiden Ross or these other people getting like rumble deals or kick deals where they're getting paid millions of dollars. Apparently, allegedly, YouTube knew about roughly what was going on with Dr. Disrespect. They never offered him an individualized contract to stream exclusively on YouTube. He still made a lot of money from subscribers that are now gone, like the members, and as well also just for general viewership on the both live streams and normal videos. So he was still making okay money, but he wasn't making that like $50 million, $100 mark that other people had, like, you know, kick streamers are getting. But this is crazy because at this point, it seems like YouTube drew the line. And it's very rare where they do go and address these big controversial uh, issues, like I said, with Logan Paul or David Dobrik, but it does seem like as of now, he is gone. So there is no way to be a member. That means that Dr. Disrespect, if he has no ads on his channel, is going to be losing money for a very long time. And the bigger issue is that what does he do next? Granted for me, I am not going to support the guy. Like anything involved with kids, multiple cheating on your wife, you have a family home, morally and ethically, I am done. I don't care. I don't, we're just done. But that's just my take. Uh, when it comes to him though, what is he going to do? Like you lost Twitch, which is the number one platform for streaming. Like, pure streaming. YouTube, you lost YouTube, and if you can't even upload your videos to make money on it, like, it's, you're not making any money. Like, no passive income from old videos or new videos, same with your members. And even if he does get a chance to have his membership back, he's going to lose a lot of his concurrent members. Like, it's sometimes once you lose it, you're like, I'm good. Or you hear all this controversy, I'm not going to resubscribe. Some people may, if he ever has to get back, but it's rough. And also at the same time, too, most other platforms are not going to allow him. Kick might. Kick did not go and even made a public statement saying that they don't really care about what's going on. That's very paraphrasing and very insinuous, but you know what I mean. And Rumble was never a really big platform regardless, besides when people have these individualized contracts. So, I mean, there is a very small chance he can maybe move to Kick or something. But even then, like, I'm not even sure if the Kick people are going to support that. So I want to hear your thoughts, because it's a very rare thing that Dr. Disrespect has lost his membership. It seems like he lost his YouTube partnership. So that's like the normal thing that I have, or like anyone with like a thousand YouTube subs gets, you can put ads in your videos or whatever, and he lost it. So right now he is losing a lot of money and everything else in between. So I want to hear all of your thoughts when it comes to this. I'm very curious on if you guys think the situation of what's going on. I'm curious if you got arrested. I'm curious what's going to happen the next few months. I'm not sure if much more is going to be coming out of this whole situation because... Once again, if he might be arrested or as well with him admitting this, it might turn to more of like a federal actual like legal case in terms of you know, with children or whatever. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments, all this type of stuff down below. We'll have some more gaming videos soon because this was a lot of disrespect stuff, but I think the situation is mostly done at this point. I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Subscribe if you guys are new, Twitter and Twitch room down below, and I appreciate y'all for watching.